we're going to move on to sprinting and to the women's Kieran final. I'm afraid that that is Lea Friedrich talking to our ambassador and her good friend, former teammate, Christina Vogel. Lea Friedrich is going home for the night. She's not feeling well. And we hope to see her back in Paris next week. The five laps here. It's high octane, quick stuff. So the Derny's done its job. We wave goodbye and it's time for the racing. Mitchell in that first position in the red helmet. Just behind her, the yellow jersey, black helmet, that's Marta Bayona. Now moving up all the way from the back, Starikova of Ukraine. Blue jersey, and looking to try and take that first position with two laps to go now from Kelsey Mitchell. And really putting the power on a little gap opening up from Mitchell into Bayona. And the three Dutch riders in the three last positions. One and a half laps to go now. Time to start making a move, Joe. Is Starikova's taken this on early and she's got a little bit of gaps behind her, but now Kelsey Mitchell is coming around with a lot of speed here. And a lot of traffic for the Dutch riders to get around as well. Mitchell now with Bayona coming into the final two turns. You can see that the league leader's up there, but it's going to be Mitchell, it's going to be Bayona. It's right on the line. I'm not sure who has it. Photo finish at the end of the Kieran final. So Kelsey Mitchell taking 20 points. Just three laps, no repeats, no best of threes. It's a straight up match sprint between the world champion and league leader, Harry Lavresen, and the man who got the better of him last week in Spain, Matthew Richardson, the team sprint world champion from Australia. Speeding up already after the first lap. Lavresen at the minute, wary of what's going to come from behind. One and a half laps to go. Lavresen at the front, and he can't let his man come around him. He's going to have to lead it out here. Richardson in the position he wants to be in, maybe. And here he comes on the inside. Richardson's made the move. Lavresen pushed out the way. This is Richardson going. And look at the gap. He's got two gaps, two lengths out of turn four. And unless Lavresen gets back on terms here, that is a tactical masterclass by Matt Richardson. Matthew Richardson has won the sprint. And all the pressure now on Lavresen to place well in the Kieran if he's to hold on to the leader's jersey. Two more fast and furious races as we're ready to finish off our evening of entertainment. From round two of the track, and there are the six stars, ready to race for the final time tonight. Two laps then behind the dirty, you know the drill by now. This is a short, sharp race, and 20 Champions League points will be taken by the winner. Time to race then. A lot of looking around. Nobody really wanted to make the first move yet. Quintero's making his move from the back of the line, but it's by no means a full effort. Iso, though, is really starting to wind it up early. Wants to be in the mix. He's seen what happens. Lavresen not wasting his time either. The bell about to be wrong with Lavresen at the front. Here comes Bertica. Richardson following Lavresen. Bertica coming around, and there's Quintero as well. A lot of traffic here, and Lavresen's in the perfect position. Lavresen there gets himself in front, gets himself ahead. Harry Lavresen bouncing right back, but it's a second place for Matthew Richardson. This is what it's done, and your maths are spot on. Never Se in doubt. 74 points play 72. Stefan Bertiger is the closest challenger. Not out the game yet, of course. One good week, one bad wing. We know things can swing. Kevin Quintero and Santiago Ramirez both in the top five. But Harry Lavresen is the league leader. The league leader in the Champions League is Bras Fenix now, getting up on turns, but not making acceleration yet to get around her. It's Mitchell going all the way here. Mitchell going into the final, doing so easily. Bras Fenix was never in it. Kelsey Mitchell into tonight's semi-final, and the league leader is out. Are you ready? 
because we have a world champion up against a rider who has surprised us all night long. It's the women's sprint final. Just 750 metres left tonight to race in round two in what's been a banging night in Berlin. She has that little gap again. This time, though, there are not two riders behind her. Look at each other. Mathilde Gros has laser-like focus on the back wheel of Van Riesen. Van Riesen has that two-bike length gap, but it's closing. It's closing and continues to close. The bell rings, though. It's time for Mathilde Gros to grab those watts. Van Riesen's still in the front here, but now Gros makes her move. Half a lap to go. Hits the front as we get to turn three. Catapults out into the final straight. And the world champion with a world champion's performance. Mathilde Gros takes 20 points and looks every bit the rainbow queen. And Marta Bayona is the new Champions League leader. It's tied at the top. Du musst auch den Kopf dafür haben, also dass du es tragen kannst, weil du am 